Good evening, legends. Thank you for tuning in to watch the Lillian men's handball team face off against J. Percy Page for their 10th match of the season. I'm your commentator for tonight, Zach Jones. And I'm Marty Kani. This previous Monday, the men's team played two tough games, the first of which was a 43-29 win against Emmy Lizert, followed by a 28-all tie against the Ainley Titans. The men were leading Ainley, but the Titans tied it with two seconds left in regulation. They also just defeated Bev Facey 26 to 10. That should be 26 to 19, extending their undefeated streak to nine games. Last time these two teams played the Legends, Braley edged out a 32 to 29 victory. We're moments away from the start of regulation here at the 10th regular season match for the Lillian Osman. Now let's go see your lineups for JPP. At number one, you got Tristan Finland. Number two, Ben Gibb. Number three, Josh Lee. Number five, Trenton Worth. Number six, Sam Katernook. Number seven, Charlie Nelson. Number eight, George Mason. Number nine, Wayne Plett. Number 10, Arnold Kakana. Number 11, Harveen Dawal. Number 13, Rafael Prince. Number 16, Louis Start. And their coach, Evan Arndt. And assistant coach, John God. All right, now with the Lillian Osborne roster, got number one, Ish Gruel, number two, Brady Heschuk, number three, Taryn Dollywall, number four, Jacob Ching, number five, Jack Berry, number six, Mark Kolber, seven, Jacob Leong, eight, Matthew Fetchner, nine, Jacob Lowen, 10, Param Heyderi, 11, Yusuf Alumi, 13, Cooper Heschuk, 14, Seth Baker, number 15, Robert Nicolescu, 16, Noah Steffens, 17, Jaden Vector, and 19, Matheson Pohl. Their head coach is Miss Grable, and their assistant coaches are Ryan, Cole, and Conrad. So far, one minute into the game, the score is still 0-0. Osborne currently holds the ball. Dollywall bringing it up the court, swings it wide to Nicolescu, who swims over his defender and gets wrapped up. Does score, but there was a foul in the buildup. So refs will bring that back. Jaden Vector restarting the play. Dolly while running up the center, takes on his defender, passes it wide to Fechner. Hestruck back to Dolly Wall. Low pass to Nicolescu, and Leon can't get to it either, so it's page ball now. Number two, Gibb bringing it up the court. He is their center man. Seems like he is being marked much higher as number 10, Kukana. Runs up and scores the first goal of the game, but it does not count. Score stays 0-0. Now Fechner passes it to Hestruck. Dollywall to Nicolescu. Nicolescu tries to jump and lob it over to Bechter, who gets the pass, and the goal does not count because the ball went off of a page player's foot. Osborne does keep the ball, though. Nicolescu. Loading up, passes out to Hestchuk. Hestchuk finds Dollywall. Dollywall back to Hestchuk. Great defense by Page. Osborne having no opportunities. And the ball is knocked out of Nikolescu's hand before he has a chance to shoot. That is a foul. No, Nikolescu over to Dollywall. Swings it wide to Hestchuk. Osborne doing a great job moving the ball around without giving it up. And now, goalie ball. Gibb bringing it up the court. Passes it off to number 16, Louis Therat. A good save by Noah. Your referees for tonight's game are Ethan and Lillian Osborne's own Ryan. Yes, Ryan wasn't supposed to be the referee, but he was able to sub in just in time for us to start the game. Number two, Gibb taking it all the way by himself and scoring. Great goal by him. First goal of the game. That counts. Yep. Two goals got taken back. That one will stand. Nicolescu loading up, taking on his defender and shooting. Oh. That goal does count. Being brought down while taking the shot. Page is goalie, not goalie. Their coach is a bit confused. He thought there was a foul in the buildup. Refs didn't see it though. Number five, Worth bringing the ball up. Now, good foul by Leong. 
Dolly will pass it back to Stroud, who jumps over defender and shoots, bounces it off of the ground. Great shot by him. Taren, pass it wide to Nicolescu, takes his time, dribbles it, shoots, but he is contacted from behind. That is a foul in handball. You cannot touch the attacker after they have passed you unless you are square in front of them. The play will restart. Nicolescu passes it to Dollywell. Takes a few stutter steps. Loses his defender. Gets the ball to Vector, who slams that one home. Great goal by Vector. Great passing by the Legends on that mm. play, too. Tied up 2-2 two two now. Number five, Worth, gives up the ball. But there was a foul. Hestruck. Peacefully places the ball down. What a kind man. Number 16, Starat. Moves the ball to Dollywall, who shoots, and it is saved by Stephens. Play restarting now. Dollywall slowly bringing up the ball. Coach Grable absolutely commanding her troops right now. Nicolescu <laughs> swings the ball out to Hestrak. He passes it to Fechner. And now uh, Hestruck back to Nicolescu, swims over the defender, shot off the ground, off the crossbar, and picked up by Kakana. And now Gibb bringing it up the court to Dollywall. Look, contested ball right there between Leong and Dollywall. Osborne does come up with it. It was a kick ball off of Page on that mm -hmm. play there. Dollywall runs into his defender who grabs him by the neck. You cannot do that. That is a two-minute penalty on number 13, Prince. Osborne with the man advantage now. See if they can do what the Oilers do on the power play. <laughs> Dollywall out to Nicolescu. Gives it to Leong. Back to Nicolescu. Swims over his defender. Shot goes wide, though. Good save by the goalie. All right, Starat. Bring up the ball. Now, Kukana. Slightly out of position, he gets back though. Number five, Worth, takes a shot, good save by Noah. Kakana grabs it though, oh, okay. shot goes over the net. Goalie ball, Osborne ball. Dolly ball, number three, bringing it up the court. Gives it to Nicolescu at left back. Back to Dolly ball, finds a gap in the center and shoots. Not the hardest shot, placed beautifully though. Goalie was screened, couldn't see that shot coming. Mm -hmm. All right, Gibb. Slowing the play down. Pass out to number five worth. Osborne's tactic of tactic of marking Gibb highs seemed to work wonders for them so far. Quick shout out to the Parent Association. This broadcast and many others wouldn't be possible without their help. Parent Association, we love them. All right, Dolly while running in, shoots, and that goes in off of the post. Great shot by him. Vector restarting the play. Back to Osborne's dolly wall, not to be confused with Paige's dolly wall. Leong gives it to Nicolescu, who fake shot, gives it to dolly wall. Gets it to Vector, whose shot goes off of the wall. Not happy with that play, thought he got mm, fouled. On disputing the shot. it with the ref, but Ryan holds his ground. Dolly wall does not retain that ball. Osborne ball. Noah inbounding it from the side. Now Dollywell running it up the court. Nicolescu taking it slow. He loves that little jump and shoot, or pass instead of shoot. Gets it to Bechter who lobs it over the goalie. Score is four to three for Lillian Osborne. Dollywell on Osborne once again, marking his man high up the court, giving him no room to breathe. Number five worth. Steps past his defender. Brilliant move there. Just Gets the goal. Four created, all. He just created an opening, splitting the Osborne defenders mm. in half. All right, Dollywall over to Nicolescu. Back to Dollywall. Takes on his defender and gets foul. I thought it was a foul. So does Coach Grable, but okay. refs give nothing. And now, Osborne with a fast break up the field. Leong shoots. Beautiful goal. Number two for Page also thought that he got fouled later on before the goal went in. Mm -hmm. Ben Gibb. All right. Osborne starting D what? D defense chance now. 
give their defense some encouragement, motivation. Does not pay off though, as JP does score. Dollywall, pass it to Nicolescu, back to Dollywall. Routine play, gives it to Bechter in the center, who slams that one home. That goal makes it six to five for the Legends with 11 minutes and 10 seconds left in the first half. First nine minutes have been extremely close between the two, going goal for goal. And now Nelson with some space, passes out to number six, Kyrenik, gives Big it back to Nelson, save. saved by Noah. Look at Noah strutting his stuff back to the net. Love save made. Uh, Alumi it. subs on in place of Hestchuk. And now Dollywell goes to Nicolescu. Leong in the corner. Back to Nicolescu, loads up from deep and shoots that one above the goalie. Shooting from the nine. Osborne bench like that goal. Mm -hmm. So did the crowd. Crowd went crazy on that one. Kukana gives it to Nelson. Nelson to Katernick, but the ball goes out of bounds. Now Dollywall subbing off for Jack Barry. Swap of the centers. Oh, Barry gives it to Alumi. Alumi takes a few dribbles. This is not basketball, but you can dribble. Number five, Jack Berry to Nicolescu, who keeps the ball. Leon gives it back to Nicolescu. Swims over his defender and Beautiful. puts that one in the back of the net. Beautiful play there by Nicolescu. Mm -hmm. He's the captain for a reason. Time out by Page. They kind of lost it after first few goals went in. The last few goals went in for Osborne. They were going goal for goal up until then. They had five each, but been getting away from them in the last two minutes. Eight to five for the Legends with nine minutes, 50 seconds left. A quick announcement from the Graduation Council. The Grad Council is having a bottle drive this Saturday, April 8th. There will be a trailer parked in the school parking lot for collection between 10.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Please bring your bottles and or cans to the school for a donation. We will also be driving around our neighborhoods for a collection. If you would like to volunteer with your time and vehicle, please email p.anod1 at share.epsp.ca. And from the teacher versus student hockey game, we are in need of two or three volunteers to help ref the game. If you are currently a carded hockey official and would be willing to take part in this fun school event, please come see Mr. Smith in the gym area by the end of the day, Thursday, April 6th, which is tomorrow to get the details for the game that is happening on April 29th. This event is a school fundraiser in support of Kids Sport Edmonton. And I heard that Jason Chimera, who was drafted by Edmonton in, 1970, in 1997, will be there along with other mm -hmm. Oiler alumni. I also heard that they're announcing another one tomorrow, so pay close attention to LHS TV and the Instagram. Timeout is now over, heading Eight. into the next Big things coming for the student versus teachers hockey game. I, I personally will be there for the oh entirety yeah. of the game. Me too, me too. Are you playing in it? I'm not playing. I do not know how to skate or play hockey. I can skate not well, though. I, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't skate. I can play hockey, though. How does that make sense? Like ball hockey. Ball hockey, okay. All right. Shot, oh my gosh, into the roof on that one. All right. Page does keep the ball though. Number 13, Prince. He is the pivot for Page. Gets into the corner for Kukana, takes on his man. Gets some space. Wow, great save by Noah. By Noah. With his cat like reactions there. Kukana taking some space again. And the pass from Nelson goes into the crowd. I'm sure the audience member was happy to be included in the game. Nelson probably wasn't happy to include him, though. That goal does not count. Mm -hmm. All right, Kukana doing his regular thing. And Nicolescu steals the ball. Fast break for Osborne. Three on two. And they do score. Back there goes five hole. Osborne is now up nine to five. They've really broken away from Page, who were able to keep it... Um, uh, one goal game for quite a while. 
Nicolescu tips the ball up without looking. Wow, so he's got eyes in the back of his head. Kukana, oh, Ooh. gets absolutely rocked by Yusuf. Does stay on his feet though. Big hit. Shot does get intercepted, but it's still page ball. Mm -hmm. Prince restarting the play. Gives it out to Katernik. Dollywall goes for his goes for a move but gets locked up. And now it's pass the ref's call pass, so that means you have to shoot. Great block by Illumi. Kakana on his man. Fouls him. Now the play will continue. Barry out to Nicolescu. And the ball is stolen on Nicolescu's pass. Although he does foul the man though. Slow down the play. Get their defender situated. Number seven tries taking it himself and he does. That's Nelson with the goal. JPP trying to build a comeback. Not let Osborne get too far ahead. Barry coming up the field. Goes to Illumi. Steps past his man, but shot is very wide, Yusuf. With that previous goal, it made it nine to six for the Legends with seven minutes, 47, 40 seconds left in the first half. Mm -hmm. All right, goes out wide to Dollywall. Now, Nicolescu steals the ball, but our ref, Ethan, saw a foul. So, Percy Page will keep the ball. Kukana takes on his man, goes headfirst into Yusuf again. Yusuf taking some hits, and the pass goes off of Prince's foot. So Osborne will keep the ball. That's a silly turnover by Page, especially when they're trying to build a comeback right now. Alumi out to Barry, fakes it to the center, gives it to Nicolescu, finds Fechner, beats his man, but he was in the crease, so the goal will not stand. And now Gibb all over the place trying to restart the play. Barry will hold it up though, take his time. Vector tries doing it himself. Perhaps he should have passed it there. Sounds he was right trying to shoot over like three people. It's okay though. Um, oh. Good shot by Nelson. Nelson running the offense right now with Osborne absolutely taking Gibb out of the game. Nelson stepping up to the plate. But yeah, Nicolescu jumps over, shot goes just over the net. A lot of shots are going just above that crossbar. Mm -hmm, on both sides. Yeah, Nelson bring it back over to Katernik. Katernik past Nicolescu, but not past the next man. And now Gibb gets the ball from way deep. And now Osborne keeps the ball. Good save by Noah on that one. Nicolescu slowing it down, giving it back to Barry. Barry finds a Lumi, who go, tries to go out to Colbert. The pass is broken up by Kakana. Great defense there. Katernik finds Dollywall, jumps in and shoots, but Noah had that covered. Quick shout out to all the coaches for both of our handball teams and for all their hard work mm -hmm. for this awesome season that the men's team is having. Not only is Grable a great coach, but she's also a great teacher. Everyone loves Miss Grable in a teacher appropriate way. Um, Worth going up and shooting. That also goes over the net. More shots over the net now. Osborne gets the ball back. Barry bringing it up. I'm pretty sure there's been more shots that go over the net than there have gone in. Maybe. Hestchuk finds Barry, who manages to keep the ball. Nicolescu. Fechner back to Nicolescu. Goes out wide to Hestruck, but he is too far forward to get that pass. Page bringing the ball up. Finding number 16, Starat. Beats his man. Pass out to Dollywall, whose shot is saved by Noah. Noah's been having a great game so far. Only Amazing. letting in seven goals on maybe like 20 plus shots. Amazing save there. Mm -hmm. Barry. Beats his man, finds Hestchuk, who is fouled in the buildup. So Illumi will restart the play from the nine. Back to Barry, steps up to Nicolescu. Nicolescu takes his time, dribbles a bit. Hestchuk now, back to Barry. 
find Nicolescu. Great defense by Page now. They're, they're closing all those gaps. Refs call passive, so they have to shoot. And Heschuk's shot somehow does go in. Great shot by him. Trickles over the goalie's arm and in. Mm -hmm. And that is Brady Heschuk, not to be confused with Cooper Heschuk, who is also on the team. Number 13, Prince, his shot now. Matching Osborne. That three goal game. That goal made it 11 to eight for the Legends with three minutes, 10 seconds left in the mm. first half. Paige trying to finish off the half strong, but Nikolescu's shot goes soaring through the defender's hands and into the back of the net. Now Sturrott out to Worth. Worth gets it wide to Plete. Play restarts as there was a foul. Number five, Worth takes a shot from out wide, but that is saved by Noah off the post and out of bounds. Another great save there by Noah. He's helped this mm. Osborne team stay in this, or er, keep the four goal lead. Dollywall steps past his man, put him in a blender, and shoots that and scores. That goal gives him a five goal lead, 13 to eight mm. for the Legends with two minutes, 20 seconds left in the first half. Yeah. Nicolescu steals the ball, coming fast up the field, but he can, he does get past his man. That was Gibb who he beat. Page, coach thinks there might have been a foul there. Refs don't call it though. Worth t dribbling, finds Pleat on the side. Back to Worth, who gets it out like this. Um, Sturrott. There's and a there's there. a player down on the court. That is I'm not sure who that is. Cannot see the number from here. He is holding his oh. face, so hopefully he will be okay. Looks like. Oh, the trainer is on the court now. <laughs> Checking on his players. Making sure everything's all good. Quick announcement from the business club. A huge congratulations to all the Lillian Osborne School DECA students for being the largest chapter in our character association during the 2022-23 school year. That was number five worth. He is a big player for Paige. It's going to hurt them if he has to stay out for the rest of the game. Maybe go through some concussion protocol. The DECA students were invited to the Leadership Recognition Reception in Orlando, Florida. For more details, stay tuned on Classroom. Use the classroom code FJNRRFE to join for more details. Shot from, I believe, Dollywall goes over the net and wide. Nowhere near the net. Now Nicolescu bringing it back up the court. Dollywall swats the pass out, but it goes back to Nicolescu, finds Alumi in the center. His shot goes in, but that was in the crease, so goal won't stand. 14 to eight with a minute and 15 seconds left in the half. Nelson getting fouled by Heschuk there. Great foul by Heschuk, slowing down their offense, letting the other defenders get situated. Another pass from Pleat goes over the Nelson's head, but he gets to it. And now back to Nelson. 50 seconds left in the first half. Finds Dollywall, who goes out to Sturrott, and his shot bounces off the ground and is off the roof. So it's Osborne ball. Just under 40 seconds left in the half, and Dollywall's pass to Heschuk goes out of bounds. So Page has an opportunity to close this half, only down six. Only down five instead of being down six. Big save there by Noah. Noah, great kick save. Sticking out his leg. He's great at getting down on those. 15 seconds left. Sturrott gets clocked by Alumi. Alumi looking around as if he didn't do anything. Now talking to the ref. That and that is another page player down holding his head. Is Trainer coming on? Trainer is not coming on for this one. He can make it back himself. Lots Good of injuries for, for Paige. Now, quick announcement from the Student Resource Center. Please note that while, yes, the library is open during the day and available to all students who have a spare, you must have your ID card on the table. This will help keep uh, the library a safe and welcome environment for all students at LL. 
clock. The scorekeepers forgot to turn the clock back on. I think the half would have been done by now. Two seconds left. Nelson, uh, he doesn't get out. Oh, and now oh, Nelson's yeah, holding good. his knee and wobbling back to the bench. A lot of injuries. Trainer goes out to him. A lot of injuries there for Paige mm -hmm. right at the end of the half. Paige losing all their men. And now an announcement. Uh, remember that pre-enrollment is happening until April 14th. So make sure that your parents sign up on school zone. Billion is currently a lottery school, which does mean that fa that only families in our, our school's area may sign up for the lottery. I hope to see some new faces around the school next year. And from the yearbook committee, make sure that you legends order your yearbooks as soon as possible, as the deadline is May 31st. Go to school zone, then head to your fees tab to order it. Additionally. Do you want some of your photos to be in the yearbook? Download the Friesen's Uploaded app and use our code 291674 to upload your images. Now, a quick fun fact. Did you know that all the Legends Central defense are all over six foot, making it super difficult to shoot over the top of them, which has helped them keep this 14 to eight lead? Mm -hmm. And then, have you ever wondered what our head coach, Miss Grable, teaches at our school? She is a phys ed teacher and also teaches both handball teams as she has helped the men's handball team to four successful ASAA provincial championships. She's also referred to as a teacher with the best shoe game. Mm -hmm. Shoe game check on Miss Grable right now. She has <laughs> Jordan 1 lows on, red, black, and white. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But yeah, that's the Grable shoe check of the game. Back to you, Dave, Zach. Uh, so for all you soccer fans, there are soccer outdoor soccer tryouts are happening on the 17th of April and 19th of April before school. If you want to be a part of those teams, make sure you attend a meeting or go to those tryouts mm -hmm. on those dates. Well, those dates may change, those so keep an eye out for the Instagram, the TVs around the school and LOHS TV to find out where they are. Soccer, outdoor soccer is super fun. There are three different teams, the uh, senior men's team, junior men's team, and one girl team for outdoor soccer. All right. And quick shout out to all the girl, the, both the girls and boys handball team for winning the Spartans tournament. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they have a great season coming up. I believe the Osborne Cup is also coming up next week. Yes, that is. That is happening on next Thursday and Friday mm -hmm. and going into the weekend on Saturday. We won't be streaming it here on the YouTube channel, but if you want to come and watch the Legends play, just stop by the gym. Mm -hmm. Our doors are open. Just make sure you see the office first. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. We have a pretty good crowd turnout today. Although everyone chose to sit on one side of the gym. Didn't want to interfere with the camera work up mm -hmm. there. So shout out to our scorekeepers, Sophia and Brooke doing a terrific job scorekeeping, making sure the clock runs properly, and ensuring all the fouls are accurately tracked. That is the end of halftime, mm -hmm. starting the second and last half of the game. Also, thanks to John, Rena, Abby, Amira, Mr. Zhang, and Mr. O for helping run the LOHS game day crew. These live streams would not be here if it weren't for particularly Mr. Zhang and Mr. O. They are the masterminds behind this whole operation. As Paige gets their cheer done, getting back on the court, they have Gib, uh, number two, number six, Katernik, Prince, number 13, Dollywell, number 11, Kukana, number 10, and Worth, number five. So Worth is okay after taking that hit. That is good that he is okay. For Osborne, their starting lineup at the start of the second half is Barry, Parham, Nicolescu, Bechter, Hestruck, and Fechner. So Parham checking into the game. Very excited to play. I see he's got some new shoes on. He did not have those when I saw him last. Parham. Gives it out wide to Hestra, who fakes his shot, tries to go for the high school move, and there is a infraction 
in the way. I believe he might have bounced it off his foot. So now it is Page Ball coming back the other way. They go to Katernik, but his pass to Prince goes over Prince and to Stephens. Now Heyderi bringing it back up. Jumps and he is lifted up like they're trying to do the flying angel dance, mo dance move. Giggling. Heyderi passes it out to Hestjak. It was like Hey Derry said, please hold me like they do on the Titanic in that one scene. <laughs> no foul though. That's not a foul, I guess. Hestjak stops his man and now working together with Fechner. Stop Kakana in his tracks, preventing him from getting a shot off. Quick shout out to once again to the Parent Association for helping us run LOHS TV. We couldn't have any of these streams happen without your help. Big kick save there from Finley on Vector, who is running through. Vector likes to take those ones on his own. Oh, massive block from Nicolescu, but the block goes, finds number five Worth again, who slots it home on the second attempt. Now Nicolescu coming back this way. That was the first goal of the half, a minute and a half into the second half. I said half a lot. <laughs> and now Nicolescu beats his man. Great move there, drop his shoulder, go to the other side put it home. Now uh, the page coming back. Give it to Dollywall, whose shot goes perfectly placed into the corner. That was the closest to the corner I think a shot could get. Mm -hmm. That did does make it 15 to 10 for the Legends. Really Which. rattled the post too. Now Heyday gives it to Hestchuk. Hestchuk shoots from wide and that oh. goes in through the hands of the Osborne defenders, or Page defenders. You can see that Tristan Finlay wanted that back. Mm. He looked into the sky after that one in. Now Dollywall restarting the play. They give it over to Worth, who shoots from out wide. That goes over the net. Once again. Yeah, Stevens picking it up from behind the net. Now Heyderi bringing it back up the court. Heyderi gives it out wide to Hestchuk, who fakes a pass to Fechner, brings it back. And now Barry playing left wing. That's a unusual position for him. He's usually center. He's got to try new things out though to see if they work. Now Osborne ball in the corner. They did not realize that it was their own ball. <laughs> Many of the Osborne players had already ran back and got ready for, to defend. Now Nicolescu to Barry in the corner. Barry finds Nicolescu to Vector in the center. And this time he does put it home, slamming it off the back post. And now Gibb, Page coach saying, telling number two, Ben Gibb, to draw his defender out to the right. He does not do that, though. There was a foul on that play before the shot went in. Yeah, no goal there. Osborne up seven. Hey, Derry, nice pass over top of everyone to Barry, but his shot is saved by Finley. That is volleyball for the Page. Mm -hmm. Gibb bringing it up the court. Osborne have done a great job keeping him out of this game for the most part. Katernik jumps a few times, gets past the defender, but his shot again goes over top of the net. Heyday bringing it up, little hop, gives it out to Hestchuk, fakes his pass, gives it back to Heyday, finds Nicolescu. Osborne cycling the ball around here. Nicolescu shot oh. from out wide, hits the goalie's hand, but does still go in. Number 11 from Page oh, is injured. Dollywall is hurt now. Trainer does seem concerned. Fell awkwardly on his wrist after mm -hmm. being. Hopefully he is okay. Up. Never oh. wish pain upon anyone, even if they are playing against Osborne. Now it's Nicolescu's saved. shot gets saved by Finley, making up for the last one that went off his hand and in. Gibb, trying to dribble around Parham, but he stands in front of him. And now Katernik going past both his defenders, but no they did enough that. to slow down the shot. He caught it there. Yeah, catch by Noah, not, not just a save. That's not very often you see a catch mm -hmm. for a save. Hey, Derry gets it out wide to Barry, jumps up and catches it, and his pass back to Nicolescu is stolen. And now Gibb. No goal, it was yeah. called travel or double dribble. He was called Watch on a travel at half, but. Double dribble, actually, not a travel. 
So his goal will not stand. He did shoot slightly after the whistle. I thought the refs might have done something about that. Maybe just give him a warning. Hey, Derry, bringing it up the center. Steps outside his defender. The classic Parham move. Sometimes works. This time it did not. Nice look. Fetchner shot hits the goaltender's chest and goes down into his feet. Good save there. It was a very now, nice look. Kukana over Fetchner's head, but that is a good save by Steffens. They decided to keep Steffens in this game. Last game, of course, they subbed in Grua at halftime. Both goalies actually playing, appearing to play the whole game so far. Hey, Derry. Tries going to shoot and actually passes it to Bechter, who puts that one home. That makes it 19 to 10 for the Legends with 14 minutes left mm. in the game. Osborne ruining Paige's dreams of having a comeback here. They had really discussed a lot of tactics during halftime, but it does not seem to be paying off. Hey, Derry. Finds Nicolescu, swims over his defender to Leong, and that is a kick saved by Finley. That is another huge save there by the Page goal. And for those who don't know, when I say swims over the defender, that is when they do a freestyle-like stroke over the defender's head to beat them. Just some terminology I might, thought I might share. Now, Worth it is fouled, but his shot does go in. Refs let that one stand. Found the five hole mm -hmm. on Noah. Hey, Derry. To Hestruck. Gives it to fetch their back to Hestruck. Hey, Derry. Osborne moving the ball around. Great here. Page not giving them anything. And Hey, Derry's pass goes out of bounds. Hestruck could barely yeah. not get that. Mm -hmm. He was very close. Fingertips away. Gibb giving it to Sturrott. Back to Worth. And now Prince putting that one home. Rocket of the shot, making mm -hmm. it 19 to 13 for the Legends. Big goal by the big man. Now they're only three, six goals behind. That was three straight by Page. Mm -hmm. Alumi is subbed on to hope to get one or two back. And he does on his first possession back into the game, getting a goal. Osborne up seven. 12 Gib. minutes left in the game. Gib giving it to Worth over to Sturrott, and Alumi catches the pass, bounce off Sturrott's hands, and now Heyderi slowing down the play, giving it to Yusuf at center. He's not in position, but he is now. Heyderi tries to go through the defender's arms, but he is held down, and so there is a foul. Alumi is making himself known on both sides of the court. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the player. Alumi is really giving the business to number 13 there in the center. Lots of pushing. Fake screens, setting screens, and shifting over to open space. Now Bechter shooting over top, beats the goalie up high. 21 to 13 for the Legends after that goal by Bechter. Worth taking it himself and going underneath Steffens. And that goal stands. Hey, Derry, dribbling up the court over to Nicolescu, who goes over his defender. And his shot goes far side, top corner. Beautiful goal there One by yellow, Nicolescu. Yellow card given out to, I believe, oh. it's number five. Finlay sitting down in the back of his net, looking up at the roof. He seems distraught. Now, that is a Nicolescu hope, helping Sturrock get up. There was a foul there. On two minute penalty on Yusuf Alumi there. Mm -hmm. And so Sturrock will be taking a penalty shot. I predict top right. Oh, oh save it went with mid the right, face. but good save by Steffens. Timeout by Osborne. All right, quick announcement from the teacher versus student hockey game. We are in need of two or three student volunteers to help ref the game. If you are currently a carded hockey official and would be willing to take part in this fun school event, please come see Mr. Smith in the gym area by the end of the day, Thursday, April 6th. So that is tomorrow. One day. If you one day. Ref, to, hurry up. You got to tell him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This event is a school fundraiser in support of Kids Sport Edmonton. 
And I have heard that Jason Chamara, who is who was drafted by Edmonton in 1997 and hmm. who eventually went to play for Washington, is going to be there. And it's for a good cause, the student uh, teacher hockey game, so make sure you come out and support it. It's for kids in sport, I believe. Yes, uh, kids sport. Kids sport. Uh, they will also be announcing other uh, uh, Oilers alumni on the Instagram mm. So if you want, and one announcement will be tomorrow. So if you mm. want to go see who else will be attending that game, go mm. to the Instagram. The refs are actually standing in front of us now. Ryan, are you going to be coming to the student versus teachers hockey game? Ryan will not wow. be. What about you, Ethan? That is not very legendary by wow. Ryan. But there is plenty of legendariness to go around between wow. everyone else. I personally will be going. Oh, yeah. Scorekeepers, are you going to the student versus teachers game? They're going to watch, not to play though. I'm helping. I'm being scorekeeper at that game. Hmm. Osborne setting back up now. Same starting lineup. Osborne has. All right, their two minute penalty is still going on. So they will be a man down for the next minute and 50 seconds. They are current, oh no, I just miscounted the players. I thought they were two men down. No, no. Nicolescu, out wide to Fechner. Fechner's played a lot this game. Nicolescu finds Heyderi, stutter step. Tries to go all the way over the defenders to Fechner and it just barely gets deflected by Kukana, enough to break up the play. And now Prince goes the other way and scores. This is a good opportunity for Page to get back into the game. Stephens did get subbed out during that timeout. Mm -hmm. Gruel now. Maybe Stephens took a hit in the face on that penalty save, and that's why he's out. Nicolescu. Oh, fake. Went Looks behind everyone. him as though he was passing and then went straight through the gap. It, it, it was a foul first, so the goal won't stand, but it's still Osborne ball. Mm -hmm. Would have been a great goal. Back there now. Finding Heyday. Stepping through the middle to Nicolescu. Underhand pass to Fechner. That goes wide, far side. I think the goalie saved that one, actually. He got, oh, wow. Well. Good save by the goalie. It is 22 to 15 uh -huh. with nine and a half mm -hmm. minutes Gib. late in the game. I take, I take it back, it's 22 to 16. Mm -hmm. Gibb got a goal there, jumping over to the defenders. I think now because they're a man down, they can't do the strategy of holding him at half court. Hayder, he steps to the right side and his shot goes off of the post. Now Kakana coming out, subbing on for Plate, Plate. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Plate gives it to Worth. Worth spins around and his man is not there, but he does find Sturat. Now Gibbs back to Sturat into the corner. Sturat back to Gibbs who will find Prince, and Prince gets the ball knocked out of his hands by Lumi and Bechter. Great teamwork there. The penalty is now over on Yusuf mm -hmm. Illumi. Illumi wraps up Sturat excellently, but in the process, Sturat goes, he slams into the ground. And now he's holding his elbow. Uh, it looked like it hurt, it was mm -hmm. a hard fall. He is holding his elbow now. Quick announcement from the Graduation Council. The Grad Council is having a bottle drive this Saturday, April 8th. There will be a trailer parked in the school parking lot for collection between 10.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Please bring your bottles and or cans to the school for donation. We will also be driving around our neighborhoods for collection. Oh, and on the quick restart there, Paige takes a shot, but it is blocked by back there. Paige does keep the ball, though. Now Worth gives it to number six, Katernik, who double, who I think gets called on a double dribble. Mm -hmm, double dribble, and now Leon going the other way, his shot goes into the storage room. So I think that is a ref's timeout. It will be as they need to find that mm -hmm. ball and get it back in play, which the, they do. Mm -hmm. Gibb gets the ball. And now he brings the ball up the court. Prince actually sets a screen on Heyderi as so to keep Gibb in the play instead of at half court like they've been doing all game. Great yeah. tactic by Page. And now the ball is knocked out of Worth's hand, but ref saw a foul, so the play will come back. Prince giving it back to Worth, taking a step up, and now 
who is that number three Lee shot from the right wing goes far side that makes it 22 to 17 with seven minutes 45 mm -hmm. seconds left in the game only five down now big comeback coming mm -hmm. for Paige and Bechter loses the ball as it bounces off of his foot so it is Paige ball <laughs> looks like hey there he also subbed out for Dollywall that is Taryn Dollywall and the shot from Paige goes off the crossbar into the roof Dollywall bringing it up the court to Nicolescu. Nicolescu bound, dribbles it. It's Dollywall. Vector now to Leong on the wing, whose shot goes in, but he was in the crease, wow. stepped on the line. That was a good shot, just took one too many mm -hmm. steps there. Now Gibb finds Prince, whose shot goes over top of Alumi as he did not have his hands up. It's a four goal game now. Beats Gruel, top right. This is reminiscent of what happened against Ain Lee on Monday. Yeah. Bechter going up and shooting. Bar down yeah. on the net. It was Great a goal. Beautiful goal. It almost looked like it was going to be another just above the bar mm -hmm. shot. All right, and now Prince setting a screen on Dollywall so he could let Gibb in. That works out as Paige gets another goal, only shot. down four now. Shot that short side. Mm -hmm. Looked like there's barely room for it to squeak in. Dollywall to Nicolescu finds Colbert on the side, but his shot is saved. Timeout by Page. Their coach is saying timeout, timeout, timeout. He Early urgently insistent. wants this timeout. All right, quick announcement from the Student Resource Center. Please note that while, yes, the library is open during the day and available to all students who have a spare, you must have your ID card out on your table. This will help us keep the library a safe and welcome environment for everyone mm. at, here at LO. And as always, remember to keep this place quiet for students who are studying and working on assignments. Mm -hmm. And now I have a quick fun fact about the, the coach for our handball team. Did you know that Miss Grable not only teaches phys ed, but also coaches both handball teams? She has led the men's team to a four six successive ASAA provincial championships. She is also referred to around the school as the teacher with the best shoe game. Mm -hmm. Refs blowing the whistle to get the game going again. I'll have one more announcement here from the yearbook committee. Make sure that you legends order your yearbooks as soon as the deadline, as soon as possible, as the deadline is May 31st. That isn't that far away. Go to school zone, then head to your fees tab to order it. Mm -hmm. Additionally, do you want some of your photos in the yearbook? Download the Friesen's Uploaded app and use our code 291674 to upload your images. Both teams seem to have the same lineups going out as they had before the timeout. Osborne hoping to close this out. And now, page code. Page coach asking the scorekeepers if he's out of timeouts. Scorekeepers, is he out of timeouts? Was he out of timeouts? He was not out of time. They have one timeout left. Not to worry, Page coach. Dollywall shoots and that goes in. Page coach can't believe that the ref didn't call that as being in the crease. Ref Ryan shakes his head, confirms that it wasn't out of the crease. Gibb bringing it up the court. Prince keeps on setting the screen. They ran a pick and roll there. It looks like the screen that is working for mm -hmm. Paige as it, as it is 24 to 20 with five and a half minutes left in the game. Mm -hmm. Dolly Wall coming up the center to Nicolescu. Finds Colbert on the side. Couldn't shoot there or else he would have gone in the crease. And now Nicolescu's pass to Fechner is in the knocked down, but there was a foul. Paige coach cannot believe it. Bechter giving it to Fechner, back to Bechter. Takes a shot from out wide, oh. soars over the defenders and puts that one in the back of the net. Crowd love that. Mm -hmm. Prince still setting a screen for Gibb there. Wow, that is a great adaptation on the game that many refs or many coaches do not integrate. Maybe after Grable sees this, she might start working into her game. Nicolescu, his shot oh, well barely close. barely stays out of the net. Hit the goalie's hand and the crossbar. Now Paige coming back. Katernik 
is knocked down. Foul, page ball. Now Worth, stepping past his defender. Wing shot, that goes post and in. That went straight across the net after it hit the post. It is now a three goal game, 25 to 22, with four minutes left in the game. Page making a great comeback mm -hmm. after being down by eight. Oh, great pass by Bechter, taking a fake shot and then actually doing behind the back to fetch there. He hits it off the post, which goes to Colbert, and then he hits it off the post. And now, coach calls out for a high screen. He clatters into Dolly Wall. Worth gives it out wide to the left wing, and that is oh, that is a penalty and a two minute. For Alumi. Alumi, his second two minute of the game. One more and that he, and he will get a red card. Mm -hmm. Penalty shot, fake shot, and then the second one goes posting in. It's now a two goal game, 25 to 23 with two three game. and a half minutes left. Osborne might want to start playing a bit more defensive, but making sure they don't get into passive. It'd be great here if they could draw some fouls to kill the clock. Timeout by Osborne. That is a great timeout mm -hmm. as they have let in, I believe, five straight. Coach Grable goals. probably trying to strategize a way to continue keeping Gibb out of the game because as soon as they started setting that high screen and he was able to get into it, Paige started to score goals and now it went from a, what was it, nine goal game at some point, I think, to a three goal game. 25-23. 26-23. It should be 25 or, or no, they had inputted it incorrectly, so it's actually 25-23. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, quick announcement from pre-enrollment. Pre-enrollment is happening until April 14th. That is only 12 days away. So make sure that your parents sign you up on School Zone to join Lillian. Lillian is currently a lottery school, meaning that only families in our area may sign up to be a part of the lottery. I hope to see some new faces from you guys soon. All right, and now, quick word from our referee, Ryan. Ryan, you were an ex Lillian Osborne alumni, right? What does it mean to you to be legendary? Ryan does not know what it means to him personally to be legendary. They won a lot of stuff. Ryan did win. He was goalie for the handball team, actually. We're Ryan, here. looking up into the roof, trying to find what it means to be legendary. As you can see, Ryan, passion, resilience, community, and character. <laughs> Res Ryan thinks results should be up there, too. Ryan brings those results. Man of action. Timeout right. is now over. Timeout over. Osborne with... Hestruck into the lineup now. I it think he had just subbed on right before the timeout. It is a two goal lead for the for Lillian Osborne mm -hmm. with exactly three minute and a half minutes left in the game. Nicolescu talking to Bechter, strategizing. Bechter slowly dribbling it up to Leong. Back to Bechter. Nicolescu, if they want to get some fouls to kill the clock, they got to be close to the defenders. But Fechner gets a nice shot angle and he puts that far side. Finally manages to get it in and not stepping in that crease. D what defense chance starting up by the Osborne bench as they do get a stop, but there is a foul in the process. Play will restart. Page ball. Referee Ryan points to where they have to start from. And wow, Gib Gib really that is they beat be the defenders shot. and so they were forced to foul him, so that will be That'll be a penalty shot for him. He's a tricky guy to defend. And His penalty shot goes in. 26 to 24 with two and a half minutes left in the game. Mm -hmm. Bechter confused as to why that was a penalty. All right, Nicolescu gives it to Bechter. His shot oh, goes far side, goal. making up for his the penalty he gave up. Now Gibb flying up the court, beats his man but it gets stuffed by Hestrug and has to pass it out. And now that is number six, Katernick, or number three, sorry, Lee, who restarted the play. Big save there by Shot the from the corner is saved by Grua. 
Now, penalty is about to be over. There is only 10 seconds left. And back there jumps up to take a shot. Perhaps he should have passed it there. And now Paige goes the other way and scores two goal game once again. Penalty is over. 27 to 25 with a minute and 37 seconds left in the Osborne game. Osborne are full strength now. Osborne, Osborne right. wants to hold this ball for as long as possible, mm -hmm. trying to drain the time. Without there getting a, a passive call called on it. On that, play. that was great for wasting some time. Not wasting, utilizing time appropriately. So now Dollywall bringing it up. He's playing left back. Or no, he is playing center. I believe. Big Nicolescu's save. shot is saved. It got clapped off of the goalie's hands. And now Page, Page really wanted that timeout. Mm -hmm. He is urgent to get it with only with only one minute and six seconds left on the clock. There is not much time for Page to mount their comeback. I believe he may be doing what Osborne saw at the end of last game and calling a high press and on now, the legends. But with only just over a minute left, Coach Grable on the other seconds. side seems to be ushering her players to play defensively, not make silly mistakes, and give the ball away as a turnover here. Could lead to it being only a one-goal game. And then who knows? It was only a one-goal game against Ainley, and with two seconds left, they scored to tie it. Osborne seemed confident, though. Hey, Derry, especially, he's looking extra confident. They want to keep this undefeated streak alive. They are currently 8-0-1, oh, mm -hmm. if I am correct. Yes, they are 8-0-1 oh, after they beat the Facey earlier this evening. Timeout, I believe it is over, but both coaches taking their time to get back. The refs haven't blown the whistle yet, so... Maybe they are allowing a extra long timeout. This game did, of course, start a bit later since our first game of the night against Facey started later. Now, that delayed, I think, everything by about 25 minutes. 15 minutes, yeah. Stefan subs back into net for Gruel. He seems to be okay now after taking that penalty shot to the face. Same lineup, although I believe Barry is a new addition. He is. Mm -hmm. And now... Facey looking to score a goal, and the shot by Katernick goes wide. Stephens. 50 seconds left in this game. Yeah, high press as I had predicted. Nicolescu takes the ball, dribbling up the court, finds back there, who puts that in, All but he was in the crease. 40 seconds left. Page trying to get one more to make it a one goal game. Mm -hmm. Page. Wow. Big Give. save. Give fakes out the defender, but Noah Stephens is able to save it. Keep it a two, keep it a two-goal game. Now Nicolescu to Barry on the side, and his shot hit Nicolescu, who is following his run through to the wall to stop, slow himself down. 15 seconds left, and there's Prince a foul shoots. On it. Prince shoots. Prince shoots, and he is fouled. And now number six Katernik goes wide to Lee. His shot is in the crease. And so that will be an Osborne win, mm -hmm. 27 to 25 over JPP. Close was, game there at the end. Yeah, great game though. Osborne closed that out excellently. It was thank you all for watching the game tonight. Thanks to Abby, Rena, John, Inya, Amira, our scorekeepers, and our referees, including the substitute referee who wasn't expecting to have to ref tonight. Um, we will be back. I'm not sure when it is our will next be game. On next Tuesday. Tuesday after Good Monday. Yeah, for I the senior girls uh, handball game. I am Zach Jones. And I'm Marty Connie. Thank you for watching. And remember, be legendary.